कबीर जिस मरने ते जग डरे मेरे मन आनंद मरने ही ते पाइए पूरन परमानंद let us explore this marna this deathless death that gurbani refers to and kabir ji refers to this marna as puran parmanand even guru nanak has referred to this marna in his own words nanak jeevtya mar rahiye aisa jog kamaiye guru arjan dev ji maran mite jeevan mile you actually upon this marna upon this death get life maran mite jeevan mile bin se sagal kalesh all your problems dissolve upon this marna let us understand this marna most humans consider themselves to be this physical body it is actually the mind the mind has two options either the mind can take itself to be this physical body or if a mind follows guru then guru says man tu jyot swarup hai apna mool pachan you need to understand your essence and once you find your essence you are a roop of jyot but when the mind consider itself to be the physical body it is moving in the opposite direction of the path shown by the guru and when this illusion this assumption by the mind that i am this physical body it dissolves in guru's gyan through shabad kabir ji is referring to that marna kabir jis marne te jag dare not the physical death referring to this illusion of the mind when the mind considers itself to be the physical body when this illusion when this maya is no more than what happens the man realizes that it is jyot swarup and the jyot is anandit blessed kabir jis marne te jag dare mere man anand if you look at the conflicts that we have in this world in our relationships it is at the level of the mind a person's viewpoint essentially thoughts or the mind is not aligned with a person b's viewpoint thoughts or the mind what happens there is conflict and if you step back what happens to the thought that was yours in conflict with thought of the other person it dies and how many people 
are willing to agree to disagree with others, are able to accept different points of view without creating an inner turmoil. Jis marne te jag dare mere man anand and upon this marna there is puran, total, parmanand, supreme means there is no anand beyond this marna of the man. Isn't that the ultimate pursue it of every human being to be eternally happy? And in this pursue it, a person is doing so many outward things. But Gurbani is giving the method without going outwards, having more possessions, having more things, being recognized a million people, you can have the supreme anand if you as mind come out of this param, of this illusion that you are this physical body. If you are not this physical body, then can you die? Were you born? The jyot, which you are, is beyond birth and beyond death, your Atmic Self. And what are you doing today to be Atmic versus being Sansaric? The Sansar, the world, starts with this physical body. Without this physical body, the whole world disappears. And you have experienced this when you go to bed every night. What happens to your world? It's not there anymore. Because when you sleep, you don't even know if you have a physical body. And Gurbani being way of life, Guru Nanak says, Nanak Jeevatya. Mar rahiye. What is this jivatya mar rahiye? Means you live not in this illusion that I'm the physical body, but you live as your atmic self. Asa jog. Jog is union. With whom? With Paramatma. Asa Jog Kamaye because Atma first you start as a physical body, the mind has assumed I am the physical body, but when it comes out of the param, then it realizes I am Jyotsarup, I am that Jyoti, and that Jyoti, that Atma is a roop of Paramatma. Just like Man is Jyot Sarup, Atma is Paramatma Sarup. It's a realization. And this realization happens when Jeevatya Mar Raiye and such a person was their way of life Anjana Mahi Niranjana Raiye Jog Jugat Ivapaye Anjan means you remain in this physical body, you remain in this world which is within the bounds of time and space, but you don't forget your true self. You remain Niranjan, you remain unattached. 
This is a way of life and it is only possible to remain unattached if you realize that you are Jyot Sarup. And if you don't come out of this Param, this is a state which Pagat Ravidas Ji has described. Madhave kya kaye Param aisa. He is describing this Param, this illusion. Jaisa maniye hoi na taisa. The way you think, it is not that way because you are considering what is not true to be true and what is true you're oblivion to that your true self narpat ek narpat is a king narpat ek singhasan soya supne pya pikhari if a king falls asleep while on his throne and enters a dream and in this dream the king sees himself as a pikari, as a beggar. What is this beggar self? The mind, the mind always is filled with desires. Achar Raj Bicharat so the king has lost his kingdom. Achar Raj Bicharat. The king lost his kingdom in this dream has and has become a beggar filled with Asa and Trisna and is enslaved by Kam Krod Mo. Lob Hankar Bichar Dukh Paya Sogat Pai Hamari This is the delusion self. The cause of pain is when a Jeev enters this Param, this illusion and is, has fallen asleep like a king who falls asleep on his throne. And in this dream, the king considers himself to be a beggar and has lost everything. But when Ajeev comes out of this dream, of this illusion, then what does the G finds Maran Mite Jeevan Mile. It is the beginning of life, not when you are in a dream, it is not real. But when you wake up, come out of this dream state, of this illusion, Maran Mite Jeevan Mile Binse Sagal. Kalais. This is the antidote for suffering. So Kabir Ji, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Guru Arjan Dev Ji, Bhagat Ravidas Ji, I picked up only a few examples, are pointing to one death, the death of your illusionary self. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.